Hey everyone, it's me Ollie from Retaliate and today I'm going to be showing you guys an amazing glitch and this is probably one of the funnest glitches I've ever done and it's found by Abbas, so huge shout out to him and Fidget Ninja is going to be helping me with this glitch and it's really easy to do, you can do it solo but basically it's like a flying carpet glitch so there's never been anything like this before and it's so sick, you guys are really going to enjoy it. With this glitch you can also resize C4 and you can make it huge, you can literally hide inside of it, it's that big and it does save on your island so you can do stuff like that as well and you can also place traps in the sky and stuff like that. So obviously it only works in creative and before you get into the video, make sure to use my supporter creator code. So go to the item shop, press on to supporter creator and type in retaliate and renew after 14 days. Thanks to everyone that's using my code and thanks to everyone that's subscribed recently. And we're just going to load into creative. So I'd recommend doing this on the sandbar island as it's the flattest and it's better to do it on a flat island. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this. And all you want to do is go to your island. So as you can see, we've loaded into the island and all you want to do is you want to head to a flat surface. So I'm going to go over here and we're going to be getting a prefab. So make sure there's nothing in the way. And you're going to go to galleries and we're going to go down till we find the blocks and here we go we're gonna get these blocks here and we're gonna resize them so i'm gonna copy this and throw it down so you can do this glitch of anything in the game like almost every object however it does work better for these because you can resize them really easily and stuff like that so i'm gonna be showing you guys the easiest way to do it so you just want to copy any of these it doesn't matter so i'm gonna copy this one and i'd recommend putting on a grid snap so make sure you grid lock it to around 16 because that's the best result and then you want to go into you want to turn on resizing and then you want to change it so you want to set the resize axis to height so we're going to be changing it to height and we're just going to make it as small as we possibly can and there we go so we're going to be putting it down on the floor and once you've got it here all you want to do is we're going to be doing the actual glitch now now this is really easy and all we're going to do is we're going to cut it three times so all you want to do is you want to stand here you don't want to look all the way down stand around the middle because you get the best results if it's in the middle and you're going to cut it the first time you're going to fall inside of it you're going to cut it again and then you're going to cut it one more time so as you can see it works better if it's on a flat surface it didn't work that time so i'm going to try it again so i'm going to cut it cut it again and then cut it again and as you can see it's worked this time so all you want to do now is you're going to see we're moving around and you can actually crouch on stuff so it looks like you're on a flying carpet and basically when you press into f it pushes it away from you so you start going faster so i wouldn't recommend holding f but make sure you press it one or two times to go faster and if you want to slow down just press into c so as you can see when you press into c it does slow you down and you can actually go really fast with this so i'm going to press f a few times and this is why it's best to use this island because it's a lot more flat so you're not going to smash into anything but as you can see we're going really fast now and it's so fun <laughs> it's quite hard to keep control off so be careful of this also if you go into the barrier sometimes it might glitch out and sometimes it will stay there forever so sometimes if you crash into the barrier it doesn't happen every time but there's a chance that it could stay there forever so make sure you do an island you don't care about and you can reset so i'm going to go even faster <laughs> and i'm like losing control now so this is so sick and it's just really good fun and as you can see i just went flying off and it didn't actually play so i'm lucky about that so this is what looks like from Fizzy Ninja's point of view so he's gonna do it now and you're gonna see how sick it looks so as you can see he's a pro at it he's done it like straight away <laughs> and now he's flying around so it actually looks like you're on a flying carpet or something and it's so hard to like keep track of you're just going around like crazy so it's really sick and I think a lot of you guys are gonna like this it's probably one of the funnest glitches you can possibly do so now I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can resize C4s and make them absolutely huge so once your friends on top of the cube you want to cut it cut it again and then cut it one more time so there we go, it's worked this time, and all your friend's going to do is he's going to go inside of his inventory and get C4, and before you before he places it down, you want to resize it and make it as small as he possibly can. So I'm going to make it really small, and this is to get the best result, so he's going to throw it down now. And all you want to do once he's thrown it down, you want to resize it and make it huge again, so we're going to make it big. And as you can see, once you've made as big as you can, you're just going to cut it. And as you can see, we've got a huge C4 here. So this is really cool. You can actually phase through it and you can actually read the text and stuff so you can see it. And it's actually really good quality and it lights up and stuff. So you can actually detonate this. And also, if it is floating in the sky, next time you load into the map, it will stay there. So you can actually keep them on your island and stuff. It doesn't work with the boom boxes and stuff like that. So there's no point trying. And it does work with some other stuff. However, there's no point doing it because it doesn't save. Anyway, I'm going to be showing you guys one more thing you can do with this glitch. And it's how to place floating traps and stuff like that. So now I'm going to show you guys how you can actually place traps like this. And as you can see, they're actually laid and stuff like that. So you can actually use that and stuff. I don't think these save. So this is just for a bit of fun. But basically, all you want to do is go to a normal island. I'd recommend just going to the normal ones that just say island island because it's easier to do with these ones and the best place to do this is at the rift on the normal island so all you want to do is you want to place one here and then you want to build out and you want to build a little platform and have one that's outside of the map so all you're going to do so we're going to be standing on top of it here we're going to select the one that's outside of the map and we're going to be using the multi-select feature and we're going to select this as well and then we're going to cut it we're then going to cut it again and then we're going to select it again so we're going to select the one that's outside the map 
and then select this and then cut it one more time and as you can see we're doing this glitch now so as you can see when you do double tap you can just fly around like normal and you have full control of this and basically wherever you hover this now your friend can place traps so say if i want him to place a trap here he can come up to it and he can actually place one so as you can see he's placed tons of traps and if i move upwards he can also place one so they're all on like different layers and stuff and he can also do it with the launch pads as well so he's going to do it with the launch pads here so as you can see and if i move upwards he can put one here and I can move up as well and he can keep on doing it and doing it and it looks so sick so you can mix traps together as well so if you do want to try this you can this is really cool it's a shame it doesn't save if there's a way to save in the future I'll let you guys know but I don't think there is at the moment so if you guys enjoy this glitch then make sure you do give it a like I'm trying to upload every single day and there's gonna be a big glitch compilation coming soon anyway I just thought this was a really sick glitch and there's so much to do with it so huge shout out to the founder of this and that is it for today's video so thanks everyone for watching and thanks for 20k as well and I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye